It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Licks. Licks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Slicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, and came to love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you can see on a two-bar screen. I like to get on here, give my unique perspective, because after... 47 years of being on planet Earth, I have developed a new perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and I'd like to get an idea about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to the United States of America. America! I just want to shout you guys out and let you know I appreciate you guys listen to my podcast. My home country, my homeland, America. You guys listen to my podcast. I appreciate that a lot. This is episode 600. It is very cool that my homeland listens to me talk about movies, TV, sports, and flicks. So thank you very much, United States of America. God bless the US of A. So thanks for listening. It's just FYI. Back in the day with School Radio DJ. But I've got a job. I think I've got a job. Because I just didn't have the focus. If I would have had the focus, then maybe that would enable me to become a radio DJ. But it didn't. That allowed me to become the greatest podcast in the Matrix. Something to debate might be true, might not be true, but I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts, not facts, true, false propaganda, fake news, the Matrix, pens, pencils, papers, hole punch, paper clips. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're online, just be worried, just watch out. Anyways, I could ramble you all day, but I won't. Let's get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I rap. And a while back, I rapped again. I dropped the song called Iron Sharpens Iron. If you've heard the term Iron Sharpens Iron, it basically says that basically... Iron will sharpen your iron. So if you're around some very high performers, smart people, strong people, you know, hard workers, disciplined people, that will sharpen your sword. So the song is basically talking about that. I like to surround myself with ideas, people, things, subjects, items that are going to sharpen my sword. Because daily, I am sharpening my sword. So if you want to hear the track called Iron Sharpens Iron by yours truly the captain, rapping in only the way the captain can rap over crazy, unique, spacey beats, I'll put the link below. Check it out now. The scale of the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And today, ladies and gentlemen, today is episode 600. 600 episodes, bro. I've been doing this 600 times. It's absolutely craziness, madness, unbelievable. It is. And also, ladies and gentlemen, you may hear the new music in the back. I put new music on. Every 100 episodes, I switch the music up. That's what I've been doing for a while. So every 100 episodes, switch the music up. I hope you like the music. I think it's very soothing, cool, relaxing. If you don't, it'll grow on you. But I have a strong feeling you might like this music. So ladies and gentlemen, it is episode 600. And ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the podcast, I just want to thank anybody, everybody, who ever listened to this podcast. If you've listened to this podcast once, if this is your first time, if you listened many times, if you listened to it, part of it, Half of it, quarter of it. If you heard and said this guy is crazy, or you heard and said this guy is great, or whatever you thought or heard, I just appreciate that you push the play button. Because in today's world, there's so many options of what you can give your focus to, your attention to, where you can put your eyeballs, where you can put your ears. And I appreciate that you took a little bit of your time to give me that attention. And I try to make it worthwhile every episode. So if you hear me, you're gonna hear positivity. Maybe you learn a little something, we have a little fun, you may laugh, whatever. But I want you to walk away from this podcast feeling empowered, feel powerful, feel confident, feel ready to take on the world, feeling you can do anything, accomplish anything. The world is yours, the universe is yours. You want you to feel glad to be alive. You know, I did a track since I love being alive. Because be honest with you, I love being alive. But I really have gratitude 
that I woke up this morning and every morning before this, because there's a lot of people that I've known personally, they didn't make it to the next day. So the fact that I'm still here and breathing, I'm only 47, I know, and I'm pretty young, but any day, anybody can go. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm so glad to wake up and I love being alive. So what I find interesting about this is I posted this uh, song a few different places online. And, I, and there was a comment was like, I don't. Like the, like the song I did was I love being alive. And this person said, I don't. Like there's people out there that don't love being alive. Like their life experience, what they think, they just don't love it. They don't appreciate it. And I don't know what their life's like. Maybe they have extremely hard life. But we're here, bro. We're breathing. If we really look around and count all the blessings we got, we got a lot, right? We're living better than kings and queens from like hundreds of years ago, right? Any king, any queen from hundreds of years ago, you are probably living better than them. We have a lot of modern comforts that they just didn't have hundreds of years ago. Kings and queens didn't even have the luxuries some of the poorest people on planet Earth have. We are living in an absolutely great age. And every day I wake up and I appreciate being alive and i hope you do too and if you don't listen to me long enough and i think you will too because we are on a mission to expand our mind to expand our life to grow to improve to become better versions of ourselves to find fulfillment to find joy to have happiness just to experience and embrace the infinite possibilities of existence this is my goal with this podcast so ladies and gentlemen let me get off my 600 episode soapbox and get into my podcast soapbox because this week i want to talk about what thoughts are you watching? You might think, Captain, what are you talking about? What thoughts are you watching? I'm talking about any time you turn on a screen. I don't care what screen we're talking about. It could be a TV screen. It can be a computer screen. It can be a tablet screen. It can be a phone screen. Any kind of screen, right? Anytime you turn one on, you are seeing thoughts. You are being exposed to thoughts. Thoughts are coming straight to your ears, straight to your eyes all the time. You are constantly watching thoughts, right? Maybe you're getting text messages. Maybe you're getting phone calls. Maybe you're watching a TV show. Maybe you're watching YouTube videos. Maybe you're reading articles. Maybe you're reading books. Maybe you're listening to songs, whatever. But you're constantly getting bombarded with tons and tons of thoughts. I've addressed this on the podcast a million times because I feel this is very important. In 2023, time we live, there are so much thoughts coming at you. So many words, so many ideas, so many images, so many sounds, so many ideologies, so many beliefs, so many ways of thinking. There's like infinite ways of thinking about planet Earth. Infinite, right? And so if there's infinite ways of thinking about planet Earth, what thoughts are you watching? What are you paying attention to? What are you looking at? What are you repeating in your mind, right? What kind of repetitive ideas, words are going in your mind? Through the back of your mind that says things. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes your mind just says things. It's, that it's those thoughts that come up, right? What are you thinking? Because basically the thoughts we watch are going to dictate that, right? Now, this week for me, different things have been happening that don't normally happen. And so sometimes it happens for me. Sometimes thoughts start bubbling up. So that was old school thoughts, right? Thoughts bubbling up that, that just random thoughts disempowering sometimes. Like that, that monkey mind, I like to call it. But this week though, when I was walking through my life and I was going through the experiences that were slightly different, breaking a pattern, slightly off, maybe a little disruptive slightly, just a little, a little low, not too much. But when I was going through that, the words, the thoughts repeating in my mind were not disempowering. They were empowering, bro. Like empowering, like almost all week. Pretty much most of it was empowering. It was a slight dip, but most of it was empowering. And the reason I believe that is, is because the thoughts I am watching. Over the years, probably the last decade, I have been watching a lot of thoughts, a lot of media, a lot of ideas that are empowering ideas. Shift my mind to a state of empowering thought, empowering belief, right? If you take control of the thoughts you're watching, all the thoughts you're watching the screen, and if you really concoct, create a curriculum of empowering ideas coming at your mind, you may be able to shift your life. I, I mean, I think you probably will. Because I believe, and that's not something I made up, some other people made up, but I believe it to be true. If you shift your thoughts, if you shift what you think about, you will shift your actions. 
And if you shift your actions, your life will change, right? So what thoughts are you thinking? What thoughts are you watching? What actions are you taking? What is your life going to be like, right? I believe that's true. Now, I didn't make this up. These are all the smarter people than me have said this. And I followed along. I said, yeah, this makes total sense. Because I've been experimenting on myself. I've been experimenting with what thoughts I watch on the screens, right? What thoughts am I looking at, paying attention to, whose words and ideas? And I've been really, really aware and really monitoring this and changing and adjusting them appropriately to get the best suited curriculum of thoughts to fill my mind with things that will empower me, grow me, and elevate my life, right? And I've been doing that for years. And I feel that the ship is being steered in a direction that's going to level me up and empower me. So ladies and gentlemen, you may want to try this. Try monitoring, paying attention to, be aware of the thoughts you're putting into your brain. And when I mean thoughts on the screen, I'm talking about all the things you consume. Be aware, pay attention. Really sit down, really think about, really analyze. What am I watching? What am I paying attention to? What am I believing to? Not just what I'm watching and pay attention to. What am I believing? Right? There's a lot of things out there to believe. Are these beliefs empowering you? Are these the beliefs that you want to believe to level up your life? Or are these beliefs holding you back? Right? I don't know who put them there. Family, friends, TV screens, text messages, phone calls, YouTube videos, books, whatever, flyers, newsletters, whatever you're getting. It doesn't matter. These words, these thoughts coming at you from screens, even real life, they're coming at you. Which one of these are you believing? Are you believing ones that are going to level up your life and improve your life status, improve your position, improve your abundance of wealth and health? Are you? I don't know. Maybe you're not. I am doing it daily. I'm adjusting it so I can shift the trajectory of my life. And maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But why not try, right? And this is kind of the goal of this podcast. Hey, over the last 600 some episodes, I have talked about art on the tube, on the screens. I've talked about things on social media, a lot of just, just various things on the screens. And I've talked about them in a positive, hopefully empowering way. And what lessons can we get out of these things so we can shift our life for the better? A lot of times I get on here and I talk about things I wish I would have known as a young person. Like if I would have heard these things when I was younger, maybe this would have pushed my life in a direction so I'd be a billionaire right now. Not now, being, being a billionaire is not going to solve all your problems. Right, I'm just putting it out there. I mean, obviously, being a billionaire is not the be end all and be all of success. Success for each person and what they want will vary depending on what your interests, likes, and desires are. But a lot of people want to be a billionaire. And if you want to be a billionaire, if you shift your thoughts and actions and move towards that direction, you might just make that happen. Right? But it all starts in the mind. What are you thinking about? And some famous dude said that if you believe you can't, you can't. Right? I can't remember who said that. But some famous quotable guy said that if you believe you can't, you can't, right? And I think it's true. Half the battle is just thinking you can actually do it. And if you believe you can't do it, you probably can't. So what thoughts are going in your mind? Are you watching, listening, and hearing things that are just telling you you will fail and you can't make it? Is that what you're listening to? I hope not. And I hope that if you listen to this podcast, you do walk away with a belief that I can change what I consume and I can change my thoughts and somehow change my life from reality. Now, it has taken me a long time to get to this place, right? It took a long time to get here. I hope whoever you are, you can shorten that journey. I'm not going to say it's going to be quick. It won't happen in a week. It's not going to happen in months. It probably take years, years of slowly steering the ship of the mind to the direction you want to go. But on the other end of that, there probably is a place where you have significantly elevated your life for the better. I, I believe that to be true. It might not be. But um, why don't we give it a shot? I'm trying it out myself. This is, this is, this is, I'm an experiment. The captain is an experiment. Every day I walk on planet Earth, I'm just experimenting, doing things to see what happens. And that's real. Like, seriously, I don't know the end game of this. I don't know where, we're gonna, where this takes us to. But I feel expanding our mind regularly. Being aware of the thoughts that come into our brain should shift our life for the better if we make the appropriate adjustments. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But do you want to come along on this ride and find out? Because we will explore this through the vehicle of movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and anything else you can see on the screen. We will expand our mind and explore the infinite 
possibilities of existence. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been 600. We about to do 100 more. Are you ready to take the trip? Are you ready to boldly go where no podcast has gone before? If so, buckle up and let's hit warp speed and let's get it. I want to tell you guys one more time. I appreciate if you push play. I appreciate you giving me the time and attention to focus because I know, like I said earlier, you have a lot of options, a whole lot of options of how you can spend your time. And I appreciate that you gave me about 10, 15, 20 minutes regularly. If this is your first time just for today, I appreciate it. And we will make it worth your while. We will work on just expanding our minds. If you're into that. And if you're not, thanks for visiting. Maybe you're not into that. Maybe you don't want to do that. And it's cool. If you don't if you don't vibe with what I'm doing, I get it. It's cool. And I have gratitude for you stopping by. But if you're ready to go on this trip, it's going to get a little crazy. It's going to get a little wild. You might say, Captain, you're crazy, man. You might think that. But it'll be fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me. 600 episodes. Can't believe we're here, but we are here. And until next time, we'll see. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. Colin Powell. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain Captain Talks Talks Flicks. Flicks.